Peter Tribe Holder here. Uh, today we're going to be experimenting with our uh, little trusty coconut here. Uh, we're always practicing different angles with our blades and things like that. And uh, a lot of our teachers and everything always compare the coconut to the uh, human skull. So just for testing purposes, which we are always trying to refine and learn, I wanted to take a couple whacks at the coconut and uh, just see how effective our blades really are against uh, against this. So it's just more out of uh, curiosity. And, uh, you know, at the same time, it... Uh, Let's us uh, get rid of certain myths, things like that. So I'm not sure, really sure what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and experiment a little bit. All right, guys. So we have our trusty uh, M9 bayonet over here. All right. So all I really want to do is first, I'm going to just start out with uh, some angle fives. All right. So just basically throwing uh, some thrusts and some stabs and just to see if we actually get through uh, the M9 bayonet. As you guys know, is a pretty tough tool, a uh, tough piece of steel we have over here. So let's uh, give it a try. All right. I'll give it a couple whacks or a couple stabs and uh, see what we get. All right. All right, guys, so now I'm actually going to try to stab the coconut without stabbing the 550 cord, which I'd probably never be able to do again if I attempted. So we'll go ahead with uh, an angle five or two, see what we get. All right, so we've got a little bit of a cut in there on that stab, okay? Now I'm worried about taking another stab and actually going through, and then our little experiment is over. So let me throw a couple whacks at it, all right? A couple angle ones, maybe an angle two, and see uh, what we get from here. Well, you guys could tell that was a pretty good slash. Got a good whack in there, but still didn't crack it. So, let's give it the reverse and give it an angle too, see what we get with here. Ooh, all right, so. <sighs> Sorry, hydration break. So we did get a little crack in there, so I guess uh, pretty much we're gonna finish it off. So if you guys think about it, what, a couple whacks? And we got right through. And don't forget, there's nothing really holding us down. So if this was connected, let's say, to a human body, we'd have a lot more resistance and uh, I think the damage would be greater. So we'll go ahead. Once again, I'll go with another backhand and uh, most likely this probably will finish it off. Nope, nope, just another crack. Tougher than we thought, huh? And uh, give it an angle one. And that uh, pretty much finished it off. And now we have a little snack uh, to boot. So pretty much, guys, once again, this was just an experiment for us to learn. Um, personally, it took a heck of a lot more wax than I thought it would, you know, for a little coconut. But I know they are pretty tough. A lot of people say that they are actually even tougher than the human skull. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're learning. We're delving into stuff. We're sharing information. All right, guys? So uh, just like everything else, experiment. And uh, that's how we learn. All right? You can read what other people do, or you can go out there and just play and try for yourself. That way you know the truth. All right? Thanks for your time. Hope you learned something.